Spiders in my hair. Aveline Nugget had spiders in her long, curly hair. She loved them so much, she took them everywhere. When it wasn't too windy, she'd take them on a bike ride. And they'd love making sandcastles when they visit the seaside. Some were brown and some were black. Some had markings on their back. Some were thin and some were fat and some wore glasses and some wore a hat. She would take them to school with her so they could learn to read and write. Sometimes they would say peek a and give everyone a fright. Aveline, her mother would say, those spiders cannot live in your hair. I know you love them dearly, but look at the cobwebs they're making there. Aveline gazed in the mirror at her hair that was now turning grey and at the flies buzzing around her, then shook her head in dismay. So she looked in the wardrobe for a nice warm cosy place and put them on her best red dress. But the spiders got caught in the lace. Oh dear, that won't do, she sighed to herself. She would have to find somewhere else. Then Aveline had an idea. She'd put them on her paint pot shelf. She picked up the spiders very carefully and put them in their new place. But no sooner had she done this, they all had paint on their face. They proceeded to play in all of the colours and started to run amok. But as the paint began to dry, they were suddenly all very stuck. Oh no, cried Aveline. But she did think it was funny and she began to laugh. Come on, she said to the spiders, I think it's time for a bath. She gathered them together and put them in the bathroom sink. Then turned on the water and watched it as it became blue and red and pink. Aveline went to fetch a towel, but could hear a curious glug, glug, glug. When she returned, she gasped out loud. She'd forgotten to put in the plug. All the spiders were nowhere to be seen. They were swimming down the drain. Aveline ran outside and saw them speeding from the pipe like a train. They were all very wet and all very cold as they looked up at Aveline. So she had an idea to dry them quickly and hung them on the washing line. She sat down on the garden seat. Aveline began to despair. She had to find them somewhere else to live for they could no longer live in her hair. When she released them from the washing line, the spiders began to roam. It looked like they were off to find a place of their own to call home. Aveline watched them running towards the garden shed. Of course, she said, clapping her hands. You can live in there instead. She thought the spiders very clever. So she said, you'll all be fine. And as she tucked them into bed, they whispered, We love you, Aveline. The End Story Vision Studios